So, you know what's up. Twitter is lying to people. And uh, they're <laughs> ironically lying about other people lying. And uh, they're, they're doing it in a section on their site for editorialism. Which, if any of their competition did the same thing, like, you know, Getter, Parlor, Truth Social, Gab, all of which I have come out strongly against, you know. If, if they did the same thing and just had Republican spew in a section on their site and favored certain accounts and certain perspectives in doing so, 100% a bunch of hypocritical Democrats who use the Twitter editorial section um, would, <laughs> would be very upset about that. They would call it illegal and shit. You know? Uh, so let's be super clear here. This is hypocrisy. And uh, Democrats use this section for fact-checking all the fucking time. But it's not facts, and there are no facts being checked. So that's that's what I wanted to get like get real out in the open before I started to go over this, right? Because um, I got two videos to record today. This one's going to be relatively short. But I I, I got to get some stuff uh, pre-recorded for tomorrow so that I can go for a really long run and still get some stuff done. So I figured I would just debunk some bullshit for y'all right here. Um, and let's start that bullshit debunk with, uh, with, with this thing that says in the Twitter editorialized section that they call explore or search or for you or whatever they're going to call it moments like Whatever propaganda name they need to put on their propaganda to make people think that it's just something friendly. Um, they say... The Inflation Reduction Act is being misrepresented. Misrepresented online by its opponents, officials and fact-checkers say. <laughs> so, they say that officials and fact-checkers say this, but they list two of them, and, like, the fact-checkers, and they list U.S. Treasury Department reports, and they're all wrong. So, let's be super clear here. Uh, AP is not a good source of information, and neither is time. Um, and I'll be going over why, you know, shortly. But basically, the general notion uh, that you should carry over is that both of these are admitted propagandists, and neither of these really care about the facts all that much. Um, also, you can follow me, by the way, for those of you who weren't here for yesterday's video, uh, on my old Twitter now, at Insanity is Free, because they unbanned it after admitting that they lied and said that I was spam and misinformation, because they use automated services to determine what that is. I wonder if a bot also wrote this entire fucking moment, because it's garbage. So... Let's, let's hit it point by point. The Inflation Reduction Act is a climate, health care, and tax package that was passed in the U.S. Senate on August 7th and awaits a vote in the House. The Associated Press reports that the bill will, quote, increase the ranks of the IRS, but it would not create a mob of armed auditors looking to harass middle-class taxpayers, as some Republicans are claiming. End quote. The U.S. Treasury Department report says that the IRS, if provided the money allocated for it in the bill, will hire 
87,000 employees over 10 years, Time says. An IRS official told the AP that many of the new hires will replace current employees who were expected to quit or retire. Now, if you're the kind of person who thinks that having a closet full of pantsuits is a personality, then maybe that sounds like a real gotcha moment. But for those of you who actually know how things work, um, IRS agents are, in fact, um, potentially armed. <laughs> and they, they have, like, like full-on enforcement divisions. You know? Like, this is somewhat well-known. So the armed part... That's not actually an argument, you know? Like, it's, it's, it's stupid. Because nobody says that the, uh, that, that the whole of the 87,000 of them will be armed at all times. That's stupid. Um, but, like, if you look at it, um... And look at more fact checkers and actual fact checkers um, than the, like, fucking information czars at Twitter would like you to. Um, you'll see right here, Market Watch is not a, like, hugely fucking right-wing Trumpian site. And they say, yes, the IRS is hiring criminal investigators that can use deadly force, but here's some context. The IRS would be poised to get $80 billion over a decade if that passes. That's like what people are saying. So these people are basically saying, yeah, you're right about what you're saying, but you're not right in the way that we want you to be. You're not saying the words that we want, and that's a a problem. You know, you need to say the words that we want you to say. Otherwise, we're going to say that you're misrepresenting things. How is that misrepresenting things any more than Twitter is? Than these pundits are. If it's true, shut the fuck up about misrepresentation. You cunts! Holy shit! Um, so... Twitter even admits this in their fucking, uh, coverage by editorializing a few, uh, elements from the fucking articles that they just uncritically posted. Um, by the way, uncritically posting things is a good way to misrepresent. So, fuck you, Twitter. Uh, maybe don't not include the other side and then cry about misrepresentation. Anyway, let's look at this. So, uh, a major economic bill working its way through Congress would increase the ranks of the IRS but wouldn't create a mob of armed auditors targeting middle-class taxpayers, as some Republican lawmakers are claiming. So, it's not a mob. Even though it's 87,000 over a decade, even though that's, like, a lot of people, uh, it's not a mob because AP says so. ooh hoo that's uh, a lot of trust you want me to do, AP. Uh, no, I won't trust you. So you keep scrolling, and it's like <laughs> quoting the AP uncritically down here, saying, Last year, before the bill emerged, the Treasury had proposed a plan to hire roughly that many IRS employees over the next decade if it got the money. The IRS will be releasing final numbers for its hiring plans in the coming months, according to a Treasury official, but those employees will not all be hired at the same time. They will be not be auditors 
and many of them will be replacing employees who are expected to quit or retire, experts and officials say. So, either the IRS really needs 8,700 employees a year because 8,700 employees a year are quitting or they're growing their fucking workforce and just not telling us how much the net growth will be, which is the real misrepresentation of facts and the disingenuous country you should grow to expect from the Nazi, uh, APs, um, uh, fucking analysis. Shit, did I, did I let Nazi slip? Fuck, that must be because the AP, uh, worked with the fucking Nazis. <laughs> they worked with the Nazis to get certain things printed. <laughs> it worked for the Nazis' propaganda division, but we can trust them, y'all. We can trust them, right? We can trust anything they say implicitly and add them to our fact checking division ranks, right? These are the people you're listening to. Um, maybe fucking don't. Right? So let's keep scrolling. Right? And see this time thing where they got this trumpet. Mm. They, they always got to pick the worst pictures for him because he's their fictional boogeyman. Uh, Trump allies are attacking Biden for a plan to hire 87,000 new IRS agents that doesn't exist. It exists, you cunt! Just because they're replacing old ones doesn't mean they're not new ones. Have you ever worked food service or any job in your life? Or are you just a professional corporate politician cocksucker? Fuck you. Holy shit. First in, first out doesn't mean that the stuff you put in after isn't new. Cunt. Holy shit. Gaslighting in the public sphere right here. Right here. They're just gaslighting you. That's all they're doing. It's fucking embarrassing to anybody with a spine. And, and, and like they highlight these tweets... You know, new army of 87,000 IRS agents. It's fucking true. These 87,000 new IRS agents. It's fucking true. You said it was true. You just said it was okay. Well, maybe I don't need your fucking opinion. Maybe shove your, your, your Nazi adjacent opinion up your ass! How about that? So, as, a, as I was reading, no, Biden is not hiring 87,000 new IRS agents. Neither of the tweets in that fucking thumbnail said Biden wants... Just stupid, evil gaslighting manipulation tactics. Even in this moments section, they admit that the claims aren't that Biden is doing it. So shut the fuck up about what Biden is doing because that's not the argument, straw man Magoo. journalism. Anyway, it's a false claim being spread by prominent Republicans after the FBI searched Trump's home. Hmm. I wonder if it was after that 87,000 trended. No! It fucking wasn't. And I have proof. Because the raid happened two days ago and 87,000 IRS agents was trending when I put out my fucking video about it. Based on my fucking tweets about it. 
gaslighting. They just want you to believe the propaganda, accept the lies, gobble the boot, and smile. For real, that's literally it. Like, why is this acceptable, right? It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be acceptable at all. But here we fucking are, right? Here is my channel. I will pop open my channel here for you. And you can see, here are the videos that I've been putting out. So, this raid happened two fucking days ago. Everybody is covering it as having happened two fucking days ago. And when did the thing trend? Right? When did the thing trend? It didn't trend two fucking days ago. It trended three fucking days ago. And in fact, had been trending arguably for a day before that. And I can prove it. Because when I got involved... When I put out my tweet about it, and I'm doing this live for you, right? So that people can see it and see that I'm not making this up, right? I'm not adding any facts here like Twitter is, like Time Magazine is, like the Nuts uh, AP is, right? August fucking 8th was when I put out my tweets about that. August 8th! 8th! Play the 8th game, Stanley Parable fans. Right? 8th. But they want you to believe that it didn't happen on the 8th. They want you to believe that it happened on the 9th. And after the 9th. That's what they want. Because it's a lot easier... For you to accept their lies. If they can get you to believe that you don't even know your own dates properly. Right? So, let's be super clear and say that this is evil. Right? But you shouldn't expect anything different than evil from time. Because they have shown their agenda. This is an archive of something that might someday be memory hold, right? Where they literally on, you know, fucking, <laughs> on fucking public paper admitted to running a collaboration and collusion campaign that proved Trump right. A second odd thing happened amid Trump's attempts to reverse the result. Corporate America turned on him. Hundreds of major business leaders, many of whom had backed Trump's candidacy and supported his policies, called him to concede. To the president, something felt amiss. It was all very, very strange, Trump said on December 2nd. Within days after the election, we witnessed an orchestrated effort to anoint the winner even while many key states were still being counted. In a way, Trump was right. There was a conspiracy unfolding behind the scenes, one that both curtailed the protests and coordinated the resistance from CEOs. Both surprises were the result of an informal alliance between left-wing activists and business titans. The pact was formalized in a terse, little-noticed joint statement of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce an AFL-CIO published on Election Day. Both sides would come to see it as a sort of implicit bargain inspired by the summer's massive, sometimes destructive, racial justice protests in which the forces of labor came together with the forces of capital to keep the peace and oppose Trump's assault on democracy. That's certainly a way you could phrase it if you wanted to gaslight people further. I just, you know, I figured I would bring it up. AP, 
are a pack of liars who worked for the Nazis. Time is a pack of admitted colluders in an informal alliance with CEOs to oppose Trump and anything affiliated with him. Assuming that this isn't, you know, just fucking astroturfing for the plot, right? Where we're supposed to just accept that this is all the way things are and that it's, you know, Trump's not in on it. Assuming that what they say in these articles where they admit to basically lying at the behest of the establishment, um, whether the establishment in the favor of Nazis uh, in, in the AP's case or the establishment in the favor of the DNC in the case of Time magazine, um, they admit to it. They admitted it. They admitted to being a pack of propagandists multiple times and have done this before. I could list more examples. Maybe I will someday. But ultimately, the thing I wanted this this sort of video to be about, I wanted this video to be an expose on the, the, the bullshit that the establishment wants you to accept because it is getting thicker and stronger and they want you to just accept it. Just obsequiously lick the boot. Like, holy fucking shit. Look at this. Look at this fucking bullshit. And tell me that this isn't propaganda. The Inflation Reduction Act, a landmark climate health uh, healthcare and tax package that passed the Senate on Sunday and is expected to head to Biden's desk after the House approves it on Friday, includes includes roughly 78 billion 78 billion for the IRS to be phased in over the next 10 years to fund what well eric cortelessa says since the FBI searched Trump's Mar-a-Lago uh, Mar home, Republicans and high-profile conservatives have relentlessly attacked Biden for a plan to hire... Where? Where are they... It's not Biden. It's, it's attacking a bill that Biden approves of, sure, but a bill. And the thing that they're saying, for a plan to hire 87,000 new IRS agents, but no such plan... Fuck you! It literally exists. And you just admitted it exists. Eric Cortelissa is a politics reporter for Time. And I am an economics reporter for Pornhub. About as much prestige as should be given. Our Treasury Department report from May 2021 estimated that such an investment would enable the agency to hire roughly 87,000 employees by 2031. But most of those hires would be not be internal revenue agents and wouldn't be new positions. You don't need a new position to be a new agent. And you, you, you just admitted higher up in this thread, this little moments thread Twitter, that that's happening. That it's a plan, but it's spread out enough that we shouldn't fucking worry about it. <laughs> and and Aman Bateja, I think that's how you would pronounce that, says, no, Biden is not planning to hire 87,000 new IRS agents, despite what the RNC and many prominent Republicans have claimed over the last 24 hours. So... Like, all of this should be evidence of the gaslight, and all of this should be proof that you should be opposed to these people, and definitely proof that these people do not have your interests at heart, but the interests of whoever is in power at the time, or whoever they want to empower. In the case of AP, during World War II, they literally worked for the Nazis' propaganda division. In the case of Time Magazine, they literally created propaganda to oppose one politician and support another. And they, they're acting like they won't do it again? Yeah, well, I don't fucking believe it, not for a second. So, with that in mind, I'm gonna keep on doing what I do and disregard Twitter's propagandistic bullshit. I think it's time we smash the stake.